Today, we are going to present applications of Fourier analysis to audio signal processing. We are going to investigate chord detection algorithm. Our goal is to understand a process behind algorithm that can extract chord information from recorded music. Now let's see some basic music theory. Due to human perception preference, we have developed many systems of pitches in ancient times and we are left with only 12 notes that are widely used these days. Nowadays, we mostly listen to Western music, which is composed of those 12 notes. Whatever the song is, we call those 12 notes the chromatic scale. The mathematical relationship of the notes in chromatic scale can be expressed as shown. A4, or the notes La, is a standardized note which is set to a frequency of 440 Hz. So, what is a chord? A chord is a multiple pitches played simultaneously. There are four chord families which are measured, minor, diminished, and augmented. The relationship of notes in the chords are shown as follows. To sum up so far, we have a way to know a chord if we can break down an audio to a frequency spectrum. So this is about Fourier time form. It's the service between time and frequency domain. Time domain and frequency domain are two ways to analyze and represent signals, including audio signals. In the time domain, the signal is represented as amplitude versus time. This representation is intuitive as it directly corresponds to how we perceive sound the variation in air pressure over time. In the frequency domain, the signal is represented as amplitude versus frequency. This representation shows the different frequency present in the signal and their respective magnitudes. By analyzing the frequency components of an audio signal, you can identify characteristics like pitch, timbre, and harmonic content, as shown is the discrete Fourier transform formula. Often cited as one of the most important algorithms of the 20th century, the fast Fourier transform, FFT, is truly what brings the idea of the Fourier transform into practice. The core idea behind fast Fourier transform is re-expressing matrices, making a tedious task take less time to compute. As we can see in the graph, where the green one uses fast Fourier transform algorithm why the blue one is straightforward computation. In computer, it digitally samples data in the time domain and broke up into chunks and fast Fourier transform to calculate the magnitude of the frequency spectrum for each chunk. This spectrum or time plot are then laid side by side to form the image or a three-dimensional surface. Also called a spectrogram, which is a visual representation of the spectrum of frequencies of a signal as it varies with time. After we get a spectrogram from FFT, we then add intensities of frequencies in group to match the frequency of the 12 nodes. As a result, we get a chroma gam which presents the 12 nodes. Thereby, we can identify a chord played. This is a C major scale as shown on the left. This is a chord progression as shown on the right. 